Everyone knows about the Mach 3 Plus SR-71 Blackbird, the brainchild of aerospace engineer Kelly Johnson's famous Lockheed Skunk Works. But what most people don't know is that it actually wasn't the SR-71 that established the Blackbird's reputation as a U.S. speed record setting aircraft. In fact, it was this aircraft, the even more interesting Lockheed YF-12A Experimental Interceptor that not only set a new atmospheric airspeed record, it shattered records that were previously held by the Soviet Union. At 101 feet long, longer than a World War II B-29 heavy bomber, the YF-12A is also the largest fighter interceptor ever built. And this one, at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, is the only one of three that remains. The other two examples destroyed in flight test accidents. Specifically designed to shoot down Soviet bombers if the Red Menace ever attacked the United States over the North Pole or across the Atlantic, the YF-12A was armed with the 12 and a half foot long Hughes AIM-47 air-to-air missile that weighed nearly half a ton. And while flight tests in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s produced a long list of heroic test pilots, Perhaps none are as noteworthy as U.S. Air Force Colonel Robert L. Fox Stevens and Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Andre, shown here on May 1, 1965. On that day, Stevens and Andre shattered the world airspeed record that had been held by the Soviet Union for two years, nine months, and 24 days from July 7, 1962 until May 1, 1965. For nearly three years prior to May 1965, the West had lived under the specter of a Soviet-dominated sky. The Russians had set the absolute airspeed record on July 7, 1962, in a specially modified YE-166, a massive futuristic-looking single-engine aircraft based on the MiG-21. But on May 1, 1965, Colonel Stevens and Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Andre climbed into their experimental Lockheed Skunk Works YF-12A triple supersonic interceptor and set a new speed record of 2,070.1 miles per hour. That's Mach 3.14. Now this just didn't break the previous Soviet record of 1,665.9 miles an hour. It absolutely shattered it. Stevens and Andre increased the airspeed record by a staggering 24.26%, but even more impressively, their absolute airspeed record held for over a decade. It was eventually broken by Captain Eldon W. Jorce and Major George Morgan Jr. in another Blackbird, but this time it was a Lockheed SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft. But Eldon and Morgan Jr. only marginally improved upon Steven and Andre's audacious record set nearly a decade earlier. For their peerless valor, astounding airmanship, and unswerving courage, Colonel Robert L. Fox Stevens and Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Andre were awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. They also went on to win the prestigious Thompson Trophy, which is an aerospace industry award for establishing a maximum speed record for an air-breathing jet aircraft. Quite an incredible award. So while most people think of the SR-71 when we talk about speed records, it was actually this even more exotic black jet, the YF-12A, that was born in the vast imagination of Kelly Johnson and flown over Area 51 that is truly the noteworthy version of the Blackbird.